it all begins here. Hundreds of miles from the main stem, in all the small creeks that wind by the thousands across this watershed. Down all these creeks and streams, tons of farm soil wash off the land each year, and tons of nitrogen and phosphorus. Because of this, farm fertilizer. In the last 30 years, farmers have nearly doubled their use of nitrogen in pounds per acre. In many parts of the watershed, farmers are putting more animals on the land and more animal waste. down small rivers and large, from croplands and pasture lands, from septic systems and sewage plants in small towns, suburbs, and cities. Tons of nitrogen and phosphorus. In all this brown water, the greening of the Chesapeake all over this watershed. And in most years, this greening will over-fertilize the Chesapeake. The Army Corps of Engineers uses this three-dimensional model to show how these low oxygen zones form in the bay. During the springtime runoff, nitrogen and phosphorus flow heavily into the bay. Huge red zones of no oxygen appear in the deeper channels of the Chesapeake. Scientists call it anoxia. Watermen call it dead water. I've been crabbing in this area for the last 15 or 18 years, and, uh, and gradually this problem of uh, bad water or anoxic water has, has gradually got worse. Well, it looks like we're lucky with this pot. Uh, we got in shore here a little bit, and. And all these crabs look like to me that they're going to be okay. But uh, we do have a, a distinct problem with anoxic water in the latter part of the summer. Uh, it'll creep up on our shores down here in the lower part of the Potomac, uh, especially on this side in the northeaster, and uh, pretty much blow the, the good water off the shoals, and the anoxic water creeps up, and all of this bad water, which generally uh, lays on the bottom in the deep. It'll creep up the edges and uh, it'll run the crabs uh, ahead of it. All the crabs in 10 foot of water will be dead. Then I've seen it kill crabs in three or four foot of water. Uh, sometimes if it moves ashore uh, and doesn't stay very long, the crabs will be real sleepy when you bring them up. Uh, and of course, if it stays on them, a right good while, it'll kill the bardos, the crabs. It'll even kill the grass and the and the fouling on the pots. So uh, it's uh, it's some high potency stuff, really. Every summer, this dead river forms, empty of oxygen, empty of life. Basically, the, the crab business is all we have left in Maryland. I've seen a time where. Plenty of oysters to catch and plenty of fish. Oyster business last year was at an all-time low. This year it doesn't look much better, so the watermen just got to hang on. So times get better and some of these bay initiatives uh, kick in and, uh, and make things uh, make the bay a better place to live. 